topping our show tonight. One of the biggest events of the summer. Racers from all around the world are in Sarasota for the 33rd annual Powerboat Grand Prix Festival. Some of those races kicking off today. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick shows us the team with a hometown advantage and how a charity is taking advantage of the race's popularity. This event is putting Sarasota on the map globally as teams from all over the world have traveled here to compete. There are teams from as far away as England and Italy, but for one team, the golf is their backyard. It's always fun to race in Sarasota in your hometown. Steve Cadal has raced in every Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix since it all started 33 years ago. We've won the last two years here in Sarasota, and in the 33 years, we've got numerous checkered flags and podium finishes. This weekend, Cadal will be shooting for a three-peat, alongside his son, Steven, who became his team's driver 11 years ago. Standing on the dock watching him go racing kind of gave me that bug that, you know, I want to go out there racing with him, too. There's nothing better than, than racing with your son. The Cadals don't have to go far to compete in this event, but others in the 30-team field travel here from as far as New Zealand. Randy Squeers is another racer from the Sunshine State. A lot of us here, you know, we all try to give back in, in ways, you know, that we can. For Squeers and his team, it's about raising money for breast cancer research, something close to the racer's heart. My wife got diagnosed with breast cancer, so she's a survivor, and uh, so that made it hit even closer to home. Squeers also lost his mother to cancer. Now he's trying to help the only way he knows how, with his powerboat. We're very blessed and fortunate that we can go out here and do this and, and, you know, and have a message to people. For the event as a whole, Money Raised benefits the Suncoast Charities for Children, an agency that helps provide everything from preschool classes to therapy for more than 8,000 adults and children with special needs. A lot of clients that have special needs are outliving their parents. So when you have the type of residential housing that Loveland Village offers, or say the Haven, that's really helped out a lot of families here. The Suncoast is in desperate need of more resources for those with special needs. Festival director Lucy Nicandri says there are clients on wait lists. Thanks to monies that we raise, we can help these agencies out. Another full day of racing begins tomorrow at 9 a.m. Now, if you want to watch these races, but you don't want to fight the crowds or look for parking, you're in luck. These races are all streamed online live. I have that link on our website, mysuncoast.com. In Sarasota, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Jess.